my name is Rick and in this video I'll be showing you how to set up a Canon EOS Rebel T3i as a webcam without using screen share. Let's get into it. So I provided a link for you uh, below this video that you can click on that will take you over to my blog and that link takes you to exactly this blog post. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this blog post here for you guys. Um, and this blog post is called How to Set Up a Canon DSLR T3i as a Webcam on Your Mac. So the reason why you want to probably do this is you probably have a Canon T3i and you think it's a really nice camera and it'll probably be a good choice for you to use it as a webcam. That's what I thought. I'm like, I have this beautiful camera. Why can't I use it as a webcam? But unfortunately, Canon does not want you doing this. And they make it very explicitly that they don't want you doing this. And how? And I was, well, I kind of want to do this. And I was searching online. I was searching and searching, which is probably what you're doing right now. And I finally found, you know, various tutorials that will show you how to do this. But they didn't, they didn't, they would use screen sharing to show you the, the, the Canon Rebel and there's a bunch of like configurations and there's a bunch of setup you have to do and it was very annoying. What I wanted is just I just pretty much wanted to use this as a webcam. I'm like how hard can this be? So I created this tutorial for you guys to do exactly that. So let's get into it. So first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on this blog post called Canon Rebel T3i EOS Utility Download for OS X. And if you go into that blog post this, that blog post will take you here and that blog post pretty much shows you how to download and, and set up this Canon uh, EOS utility that you that is required for you to in order to be able to follow this procedure. This utility usually comes with your uh, Canon Rebel T3i camera. So it's usually the disc that you have. But if you don't have the disc, you can just use this download link or go over to Canon.com. And the next thing you want to do is you want to grab this Camera Live OS X download. If you don't want to use the download that I provide you, you can go over to GitHub and then you can just download the zip file here. But I'm going to go ahead and just use this download that I provided and this is going to go ahead and download the file for me here. And the next thing up is to do Cam Twist OS X download. Again, if you don't want to download it from that direct link, that is perfectly fine. Go over to Cam camtwiststudio.com and download it from there. I'm going to go ahead and just click on the link that I provided so that's going to go ahead and initiate that download for me. So once you have those two those two programs downloaded, you need to go ahead and set them up and install them. So we're going to go ahead and set up uh, Camera Live first, which is the easiest one to do. And Camera Live is just pretty much the zip file. It extracts up this app um, and you just pretty much want to grab that over to your applications folder. And that's all there is to it. And the next one up is to do the the cam twist OS X. So that's the cam twist DMG file here. And we're going to go ahead and open that up and this gives you a PKJ file. I'm going to go ahead and open this and I'm going to install this. And then I was going to ask you for my password, enter that in and perfectly that went ahead and installed. Nice. So now that you have those two uh, programs installed, we need to go ahead and actually configure them. So in order for you to configure them, you need to be able to go to uh, the US utility, which is already installed. Uh, again, if you haven't installed it, go over to that blog post. I'll show you how to install it. And what you want to do is you want to go to your nav bar and select the little camera and say, do not launch US utility automatically when cameras connected. And you guys can't really see this, but it's up here on my uh, nav bar here on my Mac. So uh, mine's already checked off, so I don't really need to do that again. Next thing up is to configure Cam Twist. And the way you configure Cam Twist is by opening up Cam Twist here. And you will get this window here. What you want to do is you just want to just go ahead and close this window. And you want to go to Cam Twist on, the, on your nav bar and select Preferences. So Cam Twist, Preferences, and this will bring you up this Preference window here. And what you want to select is frame rate 30 frames per second. And video size, you want to say 1080, so 1920 by 1080, just like that. And that's all. That's all you have to do here. Um, video devices, you don't really have to do anything there. And this is automatically saved, so you don't need to go ahead and, and, and click save or anything like that. So you can go ahead and close that. That goes ahead and saves that. So what you want to do is you want to actually, actually do command Q on cam twist. Command Q will go ahead and completely exit the app. You need to exit the app completely before you can go ahead and start the procedure to actually view the, the camera as a webcam. So once you have the, the, the application closed, you also need to close the EOS utility tool. 
Okay, and and you need to close the US utility tool, the camera lab tool, and the cam twist tool. If you do not close those, um, it, this is not going to work. You have to do this every single time you start up the camera, or else the the camera won't be recognized by by the operating system. And 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 if you are deciding to use the camera as a webcam for a hangout or any of these web applications that require a webcam, like YouTube live streams, whatever it might be. You got to make sure you close the, the, the browser that you're going to be using the camera on or else the browser won't recognize the camera. Again, really, really have to follow the steps or else it won't work. Next thing up is to actually start up the, the, the process in order to turn on the camera. Uh, opening up camera live. And this is the first time you're opening it, so it's going to... Warn me that I need to go ahead and open up the camera live application. This will show up this little window here. It says no camera. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and turn on your camera. And then it's going to show you that the it's a Rebel T3i camera. Okay. And now that you have actually turned it on, next thing up is to turn on the camera. It should say active. It does. Great. And then next thing is to start up cam twist. And Camp Twist has started. And what you want to do is you want to click on View, Main Windows, and we're going to go View, Main Window. Again, you can't see it. It's on the nav bar. View, Main Window, and this will bring you up to this main window here. And what the main window you want to do is you want to click on Siphon, double click that, and you want to say Camera Live. And what you want to do here is pretty much uh, select this so it automatically loads it when you start up the application. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and do siphon and then you can do a bunch of different um, di filters on, on the video stream. So for this one, I just want to do uh, a Twitter timeline and then I'm going to go ahead and enter my Twitter name here. Okay, then I want to, want to go ahead and, and save this setup and I'm going to call this uh, Twitter cam. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. And I'm going to select auto load. Auto load for Twitter cam. And this will go ahead and, and, and bold it for me. And say no I'm gonna to want to delete this hello one I don't think I want that one anymore Twitter cam okay so this is gonna go ahead and turn on my Twitter cam um, every time I start up this this application which is exactly what I want and then as you can see see here siphon servers camera live perfect and that pretty much does it for this application so what you want to do you want to minimize the application and and the other one as well which is this camera live so I'm not gonna need that anymore and then you're pretty much set with your camera at this point. The, your webcam should be the Canon Rebel T3i, and you should be able to use any application throughout your 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 Mac. And the way we want to go ahead and test out that the the DSLR is actually working, I'm gonna just open up Photo Booth here, and as you can see, here's the web camera. And here I am talking to the web camera and as you can see here at the bottom right hand corner, there's this at sign, and this at sign is pretty much saying hey, put the Twitter stream here, but it doesn't seem to be working correctly. So let's go check it out and see why it's not working as it should be, which it should. Oh, that's why. Let's go ahead and minimize that one more time and let's go check. Let's open up photo booth one more time and it's still not working. So that's fine, I mean, you can go ahead and play around with this and try to figure out how to get your Twitter stream to work. It's just not working, but it's fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't need this. I'll refresh time. Let's do one second. There we go.
Okay, so the Twitter stream is not working. It's perfectly fine. But as you can see, you can do various different things with with the with the camera and the DSLR and the photo booth and and this works just pretty much just like any other application uh, any other application you have on your on your Mac. So it's not just limited to photo booth. This can go off to uh, you know Google Hangouts. This can go off to Skype. This can go off to wherever you want. The thing here is if you click on camera on 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 any of the applications, you have two cameras. You have default and then T two V U Y. And what you want to use is you want to use that default camera because that default camera will allow you to do uh, the the live stream. The other one will pretty much give you an empty screen. So let me go ahead and switch out to the to the other one, which went ahead and froze. Which yeah yeah the other one is just there. I'm not sure why it's there, but it's just probably something that. The Cam Twist application is actually uh, injecting into this app, app here. But that's all there is to this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That'll really help out. And and if you're if you're planning to use your webcam, if you're planning to use a DSLR as a webcam full time, I would highly highly encourage you to buy this charger here. Uh, the charger adapts to your camera, so you can just plug into your DSLR onto the power outlet and you're pretty much ready to go. You can click on the buy now button and it'll take you right to Amazon. It's only like 15 bucks plus like $5 shipping. So it's pretty cheap. And this will allow you to pretty much plug in your DSLR camera right to the power outlet and have unlimited power for your camera because the, the battery power right now is li it's limited to about an hour and a half of video recording or live streaming, whatever you want to call it. So that's it. Make sure if this video did help you, you share it on any of your social networks. Make sure if you're having trouble, you can go ahead and comment below this blog post and say, you know, great, it worked. Thanks so much, Rick. Or you can go over to the YouTube video and just comment below that video. Uh, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.